things happen. Things happen that really take uh, uh, full, uh, full front center with us that we have to deal with and we can't minimize or, you know, pretend like they don't. And sometimes in that process, um, I think we get, those are called roadblocks to faith because, you know, we have to really, really put our faith in Christ of how to get through those times. Um, and we may come across roadblocks where we don't really know what to do. Uh, you know, you know, I'm not gonna lie, but I've gotten mad at God in the past about things that have happened to me physically or outcomes that happen with people or jobs or whatever, uh, my car getting hit, you know, whatever it might be. And those roadblocks sometimes make us hard or make us um, uh, less than willing to accept the faith aspect of keeping the faith in, in claiming uh, direction and clarity in order that we can uh, not just survive whatever is happening in our life, but th uh, to thrive from it and maybe even share that experience with others to help them in whatever elements going on in their life. You know, so yes, we really do need to faith it till we make it, not fake it till we make it. And that whatever roadblocks may come our way, whether it's uh, physical, mental, uh, material, whatever it might be, a loss of someone, a loss of something that's important to us, the pet even, um, that we keep it in perspective. And it's okay to grieve those things that we lose or don't or that we feel our loss, even if they're here in, in, the, in the physical room, but things that we lose or, or have to go their own way. Um, because everything does happen for a reason, and everything does have the potential for us to build our faith with Christ and to seek, uh, you know, maybe a better way or a new way to deal with things or even a new enlightenment, enlightenment that we can... Uh, share our experiences with others and maybe help lighten their load. Um, of course, it's not the easiest thing sometimes to, uh, to to remain faithful. I mean, I get mad and spout off a lot. <laughs> and sometimes I'll say it to myself. Sometimes I'll just say it out who where, wherever just because I'm frustrated. Um, I don't like that outcome. Or things aren't happening quick enough for me. You know, and we just got to take a, gra a grasp, a grip, get ourselves together and know that we're human. And yes, we fail. And yes, we don't always trust. And yes, we sure don't always have faith. But we've got to keep our trying and do our best every single day. Because nothing, every day is not a cookie cutter day. Every day is, is a brand new day with brand new everything in it. Even the air we breathe in is, is, a new, is new air. So whatever obstacles may be affecting you to maybe squelch your faith, to make you feel minimized in your commitment to uh, seeing the glass half full or even to trusting in God that he's going to help you through it, rethink that. Take a pause and inhale and just know that you can and will get through this. And yeah, through the help of Christ and through the help of your friends, your family, those that care about you in your circle of love. You know, those, our experiences aren't always meant to, to be, you know, uh, rainbows and butterflies, you know, that we go through. And, you know, that's why we do, we do have other people in our life that can help us and, and uh, nurture us along those times that, that we really feel like that, Maybe we're alone, and even though we're not, that because God is with us, whether we ask for his help or not, but that we can reach out to them and they can lift us up and, and help us build the faith that sometimes is wavering. So anyway, that's my thought today, is regardless of whatever roadblocks are in your mind, your psyche, your phys physical being, uh, your thought process, um, 
they may seem like roadblocks, but really they're just, it's just maybe sometimes it's a time out for you to get regrouped, recentered, so that you will know that for every reason that is out there, you need to keep the faith. So anyway, I hope you have a blessed day. Again, be safe. I'm sure 4th of July is going to start tonight. Uh, be careful with the animals that get loose and they're trying to run out of the street away from the, the sounds. Uh, be careful, uh, you know, firing them off. Make sure you don't fire them off or they're going to burn up somebody's uh, roof or whatever. And anyway, thanks for watching as always. Please continue to keep Kaylee Faith in your prayers. And, um, and just know that whatever roadblocks are in your faith, just ask for um, guidance and how to m uh, maneuver around them and stay centered and stay faithful.